hunter. Let the hunt begin. Hopefully no flares and no phase hunter. Keep the Arcrim missiles, especially going second. Hmm. This could make for an awesome turn. If he has a slow start. Get in there, he doesn't. I guess I can afford to take two damage here. Alternatives coin missiles just for that. Would have played around Clive Super well. Interesting choice. Um It's so hard to determine what kind of trap will appear. I wonder. Kinda want to go for the 50-50. This looks totally weird, but next turn I have Flame Waker, Coin Missiles. And if he does this trade, I can usually like get this frozen, and if it's Explosive Trap, then the Flame Waker won't die. Um, if this somehow survives, like if he does this trade, mm -hmm. then I can do... Okay, he does. Then I could even coin out the mana worm first. Uh, like no, not first, but you get what I mean. Um, maybe he doesn't even run two traps. This would be nice. Just mid range with just a freezing trap. Doesn't seem to be the case. Um. Hopefully no bow. Everything else should be fine. Okay. It's probably bear trap. I guess so. Yeah. More targets for the missile. much face again. Minions. Do I trade? Yes, I trade. Protects my images, even against Unleash. Well, that's not too bad. This is not easy, actually. As a Drake or Sarad. I wonder. Oh, well, I guess I just go with this and a lot my options next turn. Life Juggler and Leash is, I think, one of the few ways to come back into this game for him. He just worry, plays high main. Okay. Don't worry, loves. The here. Okay, interesting. Well, he needs to kill the Flame Waker, obviously. So. Kinda wish I had the missiles here. This is 7. This is 7 twos, 14, 15, 16. The problem is, if I play it this way, I can just ping. So he's at five, at four. Can't really do anything then. Uh, unfortunate top decks. I'll just go for the kill though. Yeah. 
you'll gain traction soon with um, the cards I have in hand. And I think I can finish him off quite soon. And I force him to do the trade. So I basically get in like free damage, even though his trades are better now. But I don't need much. I have still two frost bolts and two fireball uh, and a fireball in the deck and a flame waker. And this is pretty hard to clear. So it will probably get the one or other damage in. And I have a flame strike on the deck. Jeez. This is 9, 11, 12. He needs 8 damage from hand, 6 damage from hand. Should probably clear the low tab. Okay, so I have lethal. Um, even next turn. Can I do better? Like, can I reduce the incoming damage? He played a low tab, so he can't survive. So... I think that's the best way to. Um, make him believe I have no options. Now he plays heal bot. <laughs> Seven, nine, eleven. He needs nine damage with this one card. Shouldn't be possible. So Frostbolt would have done the trick also. Yeah, even last time. Zerk. I will fight with honor. You ask nah. Way better. Wow. This hands quality increased by wow. If the flame cannon was a flame waker, um I think this hand would be perfect. Oh jeez. This thing. Um. Let's try to snowball the mana worm to victory. Even though I would have liked to develop the scientist. This is a pretty good turn. I don't really want the mirror entity against No, I have to play this. Yeah. Coin consecration. I have these two. This trades into this. This bad. Nah, I get the damage in. I need the damage here. Also master kills it, but if he musters now and trades, then he has taken eight damage from this mana worm, opposed to follow four. I'm not sure if I should get the freebie here. Pay attention, class. I'm ready to learn. I'll just continue to be aggressive. I don't want to clear 5-3 into 3-2. And if I do this, then you can always get a juggle there. Let's see if I get punished for that, but it's an additional 5 damage. 
Like, by being aggressive, I got in 9 damage so far. So otherwise he would be at 27. And I have this play next turn to deal with the juggler. It's a pretty good portal minion. Ah, uh, okay. That's kind of a punishment. Reporting for duty. Not the worm. Yes. How much reach this is. Insane. Um, now I kind of want to start developing the Mad Scientist, but I think I can't. Um, well, I could. Ping. Frostbolt. No, then. One mana off. Good thing about Ping and Frostbolt is I get another 6 damage, and he's at 9, he's at 3, 2. I'm very close to lethal this way. To do. Yeah. To do. This mana worm has insane value. And there's still no easy way to clear it right now, other than maybe Peacekeeper or Owl. I am the dancing master. Interesting. Reporting for duty. Well, whoops. This mana worm is on there since turn one. It seems like it was correct to play it aggressively. Pretty nice. Even the flame cannon was really nice against his, um, you asked for it. what's it called, uh, zombie chow. I still won't keep it in the opening hand, but keeping this for something like juggler. Hmm. It's probably, everything seems a little bit too slow. Yeah. Can always Sorcerer's Apprentice coin Frostbolt. Or just Apprentice. The problem obviously is Master. Because I can Flame Waker coin but have no follow up. I need a 1, one ma damage spell. A uh, 1 mana spell. Didn't really get it. I need the coin for the next turn. Like Flame Waker, coin, Frostbolt is probably my, my way to get rid of these guys. Even Flame Waker, coin, ping maybe. And this like forces him not to play Shredder. Might still be a mid-range list, so he might run Quartermaster. So I kind of want to clear the guys. Still hoping to get a mirror image or icon missiles. Portal. Portal should be good enough, actually. Vitality totem. Sure. Why not? Good thing is I still have my mirror entity up. So I can't just, I don't know, play Belcher. I wonder. True Silver is bad though. Oh, I got a Shredder. Nice. And a Frostbolt to deal with it. Oh, it's Secrets. Huh. It didn't feel like Secret Paladin. What? Oh. Does he want to, to trick me into Noble Sacrifice? Maybe. 
The thing is, if I Frostbolt this, I don't have anything else to do this turn. And then next turn might be Challenger turn, so I should probably get rid of it anyways, so that I can just Fireball the, the guy next turn. Hmm. It's a little bit iffy. At least to hit it once. I have the two spare mana to ping anyways. If this just was a light well, it would have healed my guys. This one in particular. Almost lethal, actually. Hmm. It's kind of sad. Oh, no redemption. Well, there's definitely a sacrifice, right? But... <sighs> yeah, before it triggers with the Avenge next turn on something else. Maybe it's a good 2-drop also. That's okay. And I have a minion to attack with next turn. If I knew it was secrets, I probably would have saved my mirror into T4 turn 5. So into his turn 6, so that I would get a 6-6. Six, six. Getting a Shredder was pretty good though. But I thought it was just like regular mid-range Paladin. <laughs> What are his secrets? It's not Redemption, um, so it's Competitive Spirit, Avenge, and probably Repentance? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. He applied two Noble Sacks already, so this is... What is this, then? Yeah, okay. This, this is the Redemption, then. So I, uh, I don't want... Hmm. Yeah, sure. It's a little bit of a mess here. This trades into this and this into this what pretty well. Do. Do. I can't develop two minions though. 3-6 is bad because this will be a 5-4. Not even. It's not even a thing anymore. <laughs> I have two arcane missiles. Hmm. It m might have been better to play them just because of divine favor. I'm not sure if he runs it. Could be possible. Hmm. Well, I guess it's missile. It's missile time. Oh. oh, this hurts. This hurts big time. No flame strike. So if I get good missiles, I can actually kill him next turn. Okay, these are not good missiles. This is 8, this is 7, this is 1. I can put him on a 3 turn clock, including this one. I take 11. Okay, so I'm dead. If you guys know, he can't go face with everything. Um, this doesn't really matter, I feel, so whatever. But I might be dead one turn before I can kill him. Because I, the first missile, there should have hit something to the face. 
I see you. Oh, okay. Well, this doesn't matter, actually. Okay, it's a mid-range list. I finally figured it out. Weirdly enough. Okay, so I can kill him next turn. Can he kill me this turn? 5, 10, 14... 14 plus 2... 16... He needs 6 damage with 2 cards, basically. I think he can't. Oh, this is better. Higher health. Oh, I'm stupid. If I don't kill this, it's 15, 15, 19. Then he needs 3 damage. Then I should have developed this, probably, so that I get a better Flame Waker off. It's a 6 mana. Mm -hmm. I can't realistically play the Flame Waker here, but I would have had to ping his face to, in order to win next turn. Maybe it was the right play. I don't know. It's hard to say. I just play this. I still have a few outs. Him trading a lot, for example. This is 10, 16, 17. Damn it. I think I need exactly Frostbolt in order to win. Um, seven. Yeah, or mirror image, maybe. In order to not die. Uh, something among, among these lines. Flamestrike. Flamestrike would be okay-ish, probably. There are a few outs. None of the cards I mentioned, though. <sighs> Dean. Let's Technically, I'm alive, but... Yes, deadly poison. Top deck lethal. He's dead like... Ah. He was dead for like... Four turns, where I was one of lethal the whole time. If one of them misses that phase... Yeah, okay. Was pretty close. Yeah, or if I get something that can attack from my portal, then I can get the damage in too. Yeah, there were a few factors in this game. One of them was that I didn't identify the deck I was playing against, because there's too many variations of Paladin right now. Put this apple on your head. Uh, so what is this? I don't know. What I know is... You cannot kill this. <laughs> if the knight doesn't hit, I get... Yeah. Coined out the juggler, so the worst thing that could happen is cockhammer, and then this only takes three. This is the best thing that could happen, obviously. Oh, he doesn't even try to trade. Not even with a weapon. Okay. Thanks, man. Let's leave it alive then. Um. Sure. I could actually consider frostbolting his face here. This is 5 more, 20, but nah. Probably need the removal. I also get another minion. So he can't like play a 1 drop and con use consecration or something. These might get 1 more damage in each with the azure drag. I wish this was a counter spell. Okay, now it's considerable to... Freeze his face, I guess. Um, 
Hmm. If I do this twice, it's 5 damage each. So it's 10, it's 12, it's 13. Goes down to... You can st you still can't play a minion. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Needs another way to kill this. And if he just plays, I don't know, a heal board, then I get a 3-3 on the board. I can't protect it anymore. Only if I... Eh, why not? Let's continue this. Um, there is this light chance of getting two hits on that. Which would be awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it was worth taking the risk. Like... Three out of four times I lose one damage. But one out of four times I just get this out. So if I flame strike this, it, it normally dies. Then I kill the one, two, then I have five more damage. He's at nine. Could also play a Sarat though. It's probably better. How do I kill this then? Hit, hit, hit. It's pretty excessive. I can always draw like flame cannon, mirror image, missiles. Play two frost balls, right? Hmm. Yeah. Intellect, because I have this. Maybe more missiles? No. Hmm. I needed two hits on that. This didn't change anything. Uh, I guess it's time to go, Flame Waker. The thing is, I still have 7 damage in hand, and he already used the heal. This is nothing. This is a little bit. So this is 4 plus 7, 11, 12. I wonder. I serve the fire lord. Only way he wins is lay on hand, I think. Actually, wait. That's 4, it's 8, it's 7, yeah. Already played a heal bot, so only way he wins is lay on hands, and even then he can't really clear this board. No, not quite. And then I can still follow it up with Sarad. Let me think. Or flame strike or whatever. And he couldn't afford to play Tyrion. That's another point. Okay. I almost had lethal without anything. 